Greetings to Safo, Honorable One, Haki Shakur Ami here. Thank you all for tuning in and listening in. Uh, I'm going to do this piece. Uh, a lot of people have made speculations, and I want to address a few things. Um, for the most part, uh, people have asked me who am I and where, where have I been. Um, but I, I honestly think that the, you individuals are, at this particular time, in the extreme minority. Uh, and let me just be clear, and I, I want, want, would like to be in a position to raise you up just a few notches in terms of knowing uh, different people. And I've used what I believe different dynamics to get a particular message out as well as uh, be in a position where uh, the message is in fact received. Uh, but I do recognize that some uh, pieces of information is best utilized for individualized conversations just based upon uh, the, uh, the comprehensive nature of particular types of information. Um, but, you know, just for, for the most part about myself, I'm from Baltimore, uh, you know, went directly into the military, United States Navy, got out and got conscious, very conscious in, in the military. Uh, educated myself, got knowledge, and I continue to organize, work, and build. Uh, I've sold a, upon, you know, getting discharged, I started selling, got into the book business, selling books, um, traveling, you know, mostly in the Baltimore area, ass assisting other individuals, attending lectures, uh, attending every lecture that I could get my hand, you know, that I could attend, you know, first in the Baltimore area, then in the DM, DC area, and then wherever, you know. So, uh, you know, I can sincerely and honestly say I've, I've, I've uh, been able to see, certainly within, you know, the East Coast, I've been able to say that I've uh, made my rounds. And I've brought in speakers, the variety of speakers, and I, I don't need, you know, I'm, I'm mature and responsible enough that I can, you know, kind of carry my own water where I don't have to name drop um, on that level, but those, it's simple to find out that information, uh, but, you know, I don't necessarily need to claim that I brought in any particular speakers that I, um, uh, you know, was affiliated with any particular individuals, but people know that I'm you know, scholastic, or they should know. They they should know that I'm uh, that I've been you know always carrying different books around. You know, reading all of the relevant scholars and all of the uh, teachings to empower our people. You know, I consider myself well-rounded, and uh, you know, I have some of the, what I believe the best teachers and scholars on the planet. And let me just elaborate on why I believe that my teachers are, in fact, some of the best. Um, you know, I've been affiliated with ASCAC, the Association for the Study of Classical African Civilizations, and not that ASCAC endorses me or everything that I say and do, though, you know, I, I have attended several conferences as well as the uh, local uh, mid-Atlantic region conferences. Um, matter of fact, we have a conference called tonight, uh, as well as an in-band call, and I'm going to talk about that. But um, so, yes, yeah, so ASCAC, I've also been affiliated with the Association of Black Psychologists. No, I'm not a psychologist. I was a business major, if that's any, const you know, getting constellation prizes, <laughs> you know, study business marketing. Uh, for the most part, and I've been involved in several network marketing companies, which I believe have given me unique uh, experience and training and, and networks to feel confident and competent. Uh, as well, I've studied at Everyone's Place Bookstore in Baltimore. Now, that should be enough, but, you know, for those who may not be aware of Everyone's Place, it is the largest collection of black books in the world. Well, certainly in the country and the largest uh, supplier of black books um, in the world. And it would be nice if scholars would let you know about this place, but they're not. So they rather talk about other things. But I, I'm sure that I'm always to speak about everyone's place bookstore because I was able to sift and sort and I was able to know who's out here doing what. 
and you know many of the authors who have come through there and or who have published books because that is like one of the only places that many people are able to get their books published through now we have various technologies but you know that for a long time is where every scholar have brought their books from but getting back to ASCAC for those who may I know ASCAC was founded by Doc Ben, Dr. John Henry Clark, Linda Jeffries, a few other individuals um, uh, Ivan Van Sertum, I believe, uh, Karanga. So a few few individuals were a part of that. As well as Association of Black Psychologists, uh, I was, uh, there was a community they, um, in Baltimore. They were starting a local branch, and I was selected to be on the board. Um, and the board haven't been, you know, as active, though. You know, I was selected. Uh, individuals thought that highly of me. They knew that I attended the conference and that I was engaged in Baltimore, engaged in and uh, conscious raising efforts uh, and community raising efforts in our community. Uh, I, as well, I am a AMT firefighter. Well, I'm on the medical side right now, so I've been doing that for some years. So I've I've been in the streets in some senses. You know, um, you know, I, I've seen you know a lot in Baltimore that has. Uh, has really shaped my views and opinions and you know so I've gotten some unique insights I always tell people uh, when the lights go out you know in Baltimore when everybody else is in I see what's go what goes on so you know it's it's a different world for me that many of many people may not be able to conceptualize and so I've developed a good brand you know community outreach um, you know, through through the occupation, I work on the community advisory committee, what's called the B team. But uh, previous to that, I used to work what's called youth opportunities, where you know I work with uh, disadvantaged youth, uh, creating job and career opportunities, and that's where I began to expand. I was a part of the system, though I expanded beyond that into. Um, into more my independent study and entrepreneurship and understanding consciousness as well as uh, the systematic oppression of, of uh, our community as well as the institutionalized uh, racism that is affecting our community and so throughout all these experiences I've brought it up to my contemporary position of where I'm at right now and why you know you know some people why do I have to mention other people well I I've been one to always recognize talent and I believe that that's a quality of leadership that that needs to be addressed uh, talent as well as being able to I'm sorry being able to spot talent and unfortunately it's like if on a baseball team or a basketball team you have individuals showing up ready to play like I am you know I would be you know, considered a number one draft pick, though, <laughs> though, you know, in terms of consciousness, in terms of, you know, wanting someone to be like on your team. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, many, you know, so-called conscious leaders, they, they fail. They, they've absolutely failed. But, you know, and I've been fortunate enough to find individuals that, you know, are conscious and making moves that many of you all are not aware of and that you need to be aware of. Um, for instance, uh, you know, Mr. Houghton Bugs. Now, uh, of course, many of you all, you know, many may not know him. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's quite unfortunate because you are, you, you are addicted to a certain type of communication. And, um, and, and, and it's, it's your right to, to be that way, though I think it keeps you, you know, in your life uh, poor. You know, let me just be quite honest and, and, and actually dysfunctional because when you do not have resources, you know, you tend to act a little, you know, you have limits, which, which is a form of functionality. You know, when you have resources, you can be more functional, functional, you can do more, you can help more people. And so I've had to move into a position where individuals are, are more conscious of their production of their resource gathering so that uh, you know I would be more effective and efficient uh, and more progressive as a leader and so Mr. Houghton Bugs you know an African American is the number one income earner in the network marketing industry you all wouldn't know that you know because you want to hear 
some, you know, fluff. That's that's basically what you want to hear. You want to sound deep or think you have knowledge, but you need to grow because right now, Mr. Bugs, and I'm not making any income claims, but you know, he is quite earning a significant amount of income, uh, more than many people make in a in a year. You know, he's making it, you know, pretty much in a month. And he's a little bit older than myself, so, you know, he's not like a superstar. He doesn't have like a super engineering, I mean, super PhD or anything like that. I'm just saying that I've leveraged myself with some, some powerful people that if you can come up with a certain business uh, proposition, you would be in a better position if you are su already perceived as successful in an in a endeavor. But people just not giving away money. You know, they're not just going to give you money. You got to earn it. You have to earn your keep in this, this society. And so, you know, whether anyone likes how uh, the words are coming out of my mouth or not, you know, it's like that's how it's going to be. But, you know, I realize, you know, that some people are, you know, just closed minded and really, you know, poverty conscious, like many um, in a conscious African centered community are, are poverty conscious and, you know, really just stuck. You know, just on their limited people that they've uh, listened to for, you know, over the years. And, and I've been very fortunate, you know, to take a little bit from a lot of places, unlike many people who, you know, kind of have, you know, smaller uh, backgrounds. And I've been able to maneuver into position of respect, of, of national respect. And why am I in a position of national respect? Actually, it's because of my upcoming book that I'll be a co-author in uh, that is Mi uh, Mission Unstoppable, Extraordinary Stories of Failures and Blessings. And that is with uh, no other than Mr. Uh, George C. Frazier. He was the brainchild of that. Uh, Dr. Randall Pickett of The Celebrity Apprentice, as well as uh, Miss Susan Taylor of Essence Magazine, and just added Mr. Les Brown. Now, um, and now, um, many people may not know, but this book will be, you know, this book is going to be, you know, it's going to sell millions, you know, certainly hundreds and tens of thousands, and and certainly millions. And uh, you know, I, I, my story will be heard a lot more than YouTube and everything else. But I do have a, a very significant. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter presence, um, and people, you know, I've done a lot, tremendous, a lot of work on a local radio programs. I've I've been on Harambe Radio uh, for like four years, so you know, I've I've done a tremendous job there. I've done a tremendous job on local radio, uh, 1590. So you know, it's it's you know, I, I I've been around, and so I don't need necessarily to to pontificate, but for those that want to move forward, you know, I have the plan. I have, <laughs> you know, one of the most, the most empowerful, empowering plans of this time, conscious raising as well as economic empowerment in this, in this time. And so I'm asking for a wake up call for you so called conscious people to wake up and recognize the message and the teachings and allow, you know, allow yourself to be open, allow yourself to grow. Uh, and and be coachable and teachable. Um, and if you're not coachable and teachable, then we're not going to have you know the necessary progress. But um, and how can I forget? How can I forget? Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I forgot. But I guess the greatest, the greatest, the greatest sale that I've made, if 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 I'm not to any of you all's uh, perceived likings, is is a beautiful queen. I must say and. Yes, I, I have a, a very empowered uh, quality queen, and she recognized my credentials. As one brother said, put your credentials out there. You know, so if I'm qualified enough to, to get her, uh, I'd say, you know, uh, somewhere along the line, um, some people need to recognize. But other than that, it really doesn't matter to me one way because I'm reaching hundreds of thousands of people and certainly when the book drops January 24th is the pre-release um, of this book <coughs> uh, pre-order and we, we're gonna be working on that campaign Amazon campaign real soon and I'm heading to Dallas next week 
uh, for the Power Networking Conference, and that's another significant conference that I must say that I've been able to be blessed with. So that's history, SCAC, uh, psychology, the psycholo psychologist, uh, a black psychologist con uh, conference, as well as uh, the Power Networking Conference. All are significant and empowering for us, and that's in Dallas every year. Uh, and so, you know, I've covered my bases. Um, you know, I've read over 100 books a year, so I've gotten a broad um, uh, perspective on many different things. And so, you know, things are happening. I hope that you all can recognize and grow and get some business acumen, uh, as well as uh, we. Uh, June 24th is the 24th. I'm sorry, is the, the birthday of Mr. Ken Bridges, the CEO and founder of Mata, one of the co-founders of the Mata Network. And we will have a conference call tonight. So, you know, for those that wish to be a part, you know, listen in. I'm just saying you all going to have to wake up because one way or the other, I'm, I'm moving forward. It would be nice to have a few individuals. No, I'm not looking for the masses because I know that some folks are just stuck, you know. But, you know, I'm saying that I'm connected a significant way to a significant amount of millionaires and fortunately a hundred thousand heirs. I'm sorry and if, if I may going back to the book there's 35 other authors that will be co-authoring the book so you know these are what as the five percenters would say these are my A likes and so you know if, if you know whatever shall happen I know that I have 35 strong people that I can call uh, that's willing to listen to what I have to say and I know mathematically that from a business perspective these people are empowered they're going to be empowered this book is the most p empowering book of this t half of the 21st century I must say and so I would encourage you all you must get a copy if you are truly conscious huh? truly connected to our community like I am and so I must say again if you're not aware of me or you, you as, as some people want to wish to claim and this is your opportunity now you you can say that you are aware of me uh, though you may not be showing up in the right places to get free and we just make it make it plain ASCAC the black psychologist power networking conference conferences conscious raising real conscious raising you know from the best scholars on the planet so I'm I don't know what you know what everybody else think they doing but I know where I should I've been huh so you know and can somebody show me a better place than Doc Ben Doc John Henry Clark the ASCAC scholars Akbar the Association of Black Psychologists or the Power Networking Conference so you know I'm just saying I've been you know I've made my business to be you know get connected and so you can go to my new my Facebook add me as a friend facebook.com hakeshakor me so that's all i have to say uh peace